everybody and uh, welcome to my 11th weekly excel hacks video uh, and in this video i've got another three hacks for you i've got uh, repeat formatting i've got control and page up and down uh, and i've got a, a custom function that repeats all your uh, refreshes all your pivots um so uh, let's jump in and get started with our first hack of the week right Guys, so our first hack of the week is submitted by Mark J, uh, who actually wants to give credit to Oscar at Digital Help. So they said uh, he asked I'd give credit to Oscar rather than him. So uh, there we go. Uh, and this is how to repeat formatting uh, automatically down your spreadsheet. And so the way you do it is here we've got a list of data uh, and we've got uh years as such so i've got years worth of data each split by months uh now let's say i want to alternate the the formatting so uh if we want to make it so one row is one color the next row is one color um do, we can do this really easily by just highlighting one row one color highlighting the next row a different color uh let's go for blue uh and then just using the uh, drop down in the bottom right double click this and then you can't see this because it's just off your screen so let me just push this up a bit uh, full formatting only uh, and this will just copy the formats down rather than the values uh, so you've seen me use that before for the values uh, you can actually just do it for formats as well so now it's alternating the colors uh, and you can do it for any selection so let's say if we want to make first year blue second year yellow uh, and we want to drop this down we do the same thing highlight the area we want to drop down press on this and fill formatting only uh, and then you'll see as we go down it's highlighting each year in turn um, and you can do it for any kind of number of things so that if we want to do one red and then for blue, click on this, fill down, fill formatting only, and there you go. So, but lots of different things you can do with it in terms of formatting, very useful, uh, and hopefully that's a helpful hack. So that's it for our first hack of the week. And guys, for our second hack of the week is a very quick one, but one that I wish I'd known quite a bit earlier uh, in my Excel career, um, and quite often people will get frustrated because they can't alt tab between the different spreadsheets uh, well you actually kind of can it's just you don't use alt tab so for those of you who don't know alt tab just lets you switch between applications by uh, and I'm not sure if it's actually recording it doing it because it likes to lock onto one thing but I just pressed alt tab there and it lets you switch between the different applications you've got open uh, now this obviously doesn't switch between the different tabs in your sheet because you, uh, they're in the same application. But to get around this, you can use either control page up or page down. You've got to select on your sheet, page up goes back one, page down goes forward one. Uh, and you can use that throughout your sheet instead of alt tab. So very useful to know um, and frustrating that I didn't know it sooner because now I use it all the time. Anyway, that's it for a second hack of the week. Right guys, so our super hack of the week is refreshing all pivots uh, and it's just a little bit of codes that I use quite often in order to, and to be honest I use it to refresh pretty much all pivots um, most of the time. Uh, so if I just go into this uh, for you now, here I've got a pivot table just as an example, um, and I've got a button which calls the all pivot refresh uh, and it's a sub not a function, I'll change it to a function because that makes more sense because we don't want it being able to be run from the spreadsheet. Uh, so public function, all pivot refresh. Uh, and it just is a enhanced for loop that goes through the worksheets and then an enhanced for loop that goes through all the pivot tables in each worksheet and then it just refreshes each pivot table. Uh, so it's a very short piece of code, it's very useful and it just goes through and refreshes all of your pivot tables. Um, it's also a lot better than the this workbook dot refresh all, um, which does refresh things, but it refreshes all the other things as well, rather than just pivot tables, uh, and it won't necessarily refresh them all in the order you want. So I prefer to use this one for refreshing my pivot tables rather than the, this workbook to refresh all. 
um, and then let's just see it in the action and it just refreshes it and it's all the same because I haven't changed any data anyway so uh, but there we have it nice beautiful refreshed pivot table um, and that's it for this hack and um, that's it for this week it was very quick hacks this week so hopefully they're quite helpful uh, if you have your own excel hacks please drop them in the comments below um, and also if you haven't already check out our new q a series which i'll uh, put a link to in the description um and if you've got any questions feel free to drop them on the q a series and i'll answer them in my videos uh, so thanks for listening and i hope to catch you next week